and free up any like any blockers, anything that's preventing you from doing your job effectively. And that's what any good manager should do. But sometimes uh, even that is not enough, and other solutions have to be taken on board. And so I've never had to formally fire anybody. Usually we find alternatives before that happens. But I, I try really hard to, to work with people and meet them where they're at. Um, and if they can't do that, I can't really do much about it. Well, you sound lovely to work for. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Flex fans? We're gonna check out the new green screen. It's awesome. I think you're gonna love it. What? I want to like, I want dedicated to uplifting uh, marginalized artists and also supporting mental health and artists and positive working methods. If you want to listen to it, it's also on YouTube. I do it with co-hosts Mia Araujo and Eric Wilkerson, and we've been doing it for three years now. So we've been doing this for a while now, and please give it a watch if you ever need advice, if you ever need to not feel like you're so alone in this um, very difficult but rewarding field. If you also want to find me as a person, I will be at Life Rock Expo at Table 3.30 in the Artist Alley, so I'm really looking forward to that. It's an amazing convention, and for anybody who's starting out, I would definitely recommend going to this con, because there are some fantastic experienced people who you can get advice from, that work with, you can make friends with, and get really close to it. It's just wonderful. It's like a big art party. So, have a time at Life Rock Expo to be there. I say that last year I got more job offers through Lightbox than I did all year combined. Really? So Lightbox is the is the place to be if you want you know, to get hired, I guess. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> I, I definitely recommend it. It's, it's a fantastic venue. And I also found, um, we also found our editors through Lightbox and I found a few mentees through there as well. So um, I am looking for a little bit of opportunity to do I started to take on this year, and I really enjoyed that. Work. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you having your, it's your personal table? Yes, my personal table. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be selling my art, but... 
exciting the first three days for sure and I think part of it was because oh. everyone felt alive on it again it didn't feel like it was a push for sales it wasn't just this like thing you felt obligated to do people wanted to be on it and you saw like a glimpse of what social media and what Instagram used to be years ago and I think that's why it was very exciting I don't know this is where I do agree with you though I don't know if it will hold up because I think all social medias right now, for the most part, they lack that sense of community as a whole. But when the internet started becoming more of a social media focus, I think it was, what, 20 years ago? Ah! Fuck! Fuck! And all of a sudden, what the fuck? I'm fucking tired of this shit. I keep reading to my fucking mouth. So, for artists, I had to look this up. Oh, so fuck. So, maybe in 2010 that I did. I joined, and then right, the end of 2014, and I was just using it the same way I was supposed to be on Facebook. It was very much like a YouTube image, and comments, but we weren't interested in either making sure that we're posting the right time. Like, it wasn't about that. It was about sharing the world. Oh, I mean, it's a very weird voice. Like, the rules are not nice. So, when you look at it, it's just... I, I have to fucking, I don't want to come or it feels like it's... 